Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here doing a video with my Nexus 9 showing you how to unlock the bootloader on the device. This will wipe the device, so keep that in mind. This will erase everything, internal storage, apps, pictures, contacts, music, everything in your device will be wiped like it just came out of the box. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you will also need to install the uh, Android SDK and ADB on your computer. I do have an easy tutorial video in the description, so don't freak out. Um, I will link to that in the description. So watch that and set that up on your PC if you have not done so already. Next, go ahead and go into settings. Scroll down, go to about tablet, and quickly tap on build number about seven times until it says you are now a developer. Once that uh, shows up, press back and go to developer options now under system settings. Under developer options, we're going to need to do a couple things. It's important to pay attention here. First of all, under USB debugging, check that and hit allow USB debugging. Next, pay attention, check enable OEM unlock. You need to do that, otherwise it's going to give you an error if you're trying to unlock the bootloader on your device. Now, we are ready to go. So, what we can do is if, once again, you have the Android SDK and ADB set up on your computer, we can go ahead and uh, plug our device right into our uh, PC. All right, like so. So plug it on in, up at the top it should say USB debugging right there, so make sure. And also I recommend leaving this unlocked. Leave your device unlocked while we go ahead and go to our computer and type in a couple commands. All right, so we're at our computer now. You'll see you have that Android SDK folder right here. Double click on it and inside of that folder should be platform tools. Go ahead and double click on platform tools. Now go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard, hold shift, right click, and hit open command window here. Uh, go ahead and you'll see right now we do have a command prompt open now. So let's go ahead and continue. First of all, I wanna go ahead and type ADB devices, space devices, to make sure our computer does recognize our device. So go ahead and press enter. And what's going to happen is I believe on our tablet, it's going to bring this uh, screen up. Always allow from this computer and hit OK. That's why I had you guys leave it unlocked because I know that's going to pop up. Continuing. Now we know uh, it's, um, it's authorized and uh, it does recognize the device. If it gives you a list of these numbers and letters, you can check again if you do ADB devices. There you go. You'll see device, letters, numbers. We're good to go. Now type ADB space reboot space bootloader. So just like that and press enter. I will, uh, I can go ahead and type all of these commands in the description as well if you can't read this for whatever reason, but uh, ADB reboot bootloader is going to take us to a screen that looks like this. This would be the HTC bootloader screen, the fast boot screen. Uh, so we are now in fast boot. You'll see up at the top device is locked, but we want to unlock it. So keep that in mind. Also, just a heads up, this potentially could void your warranty. So just keep that in mind, there's a chance that it will void your warranty. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, all we have to do now is just type fast boot space OEM space unlock. Just like that. So OEM, fast boot space OEM unlock and press enter. And then we should need to go to our device. So let's go ahead and uh, Zoom in on this, zoom out on this. Unlock bootloader, if you unlock the bootloader, you'll be able to install custom operating system, custom OS, all that good stuff. You can root, flash ROMs, etc. Press volume up buttons um, to select yes or no. Yes is volume up. Again, may void warranty, even on the device it says that. If you don't want to do it, press volume down. So I'm gonna press volume up and it should unlock my bootloader. And again, this is gonna erase everything. So I pressed it and here we go, it is now rebooting. Let me go ahead and uh, let this do its thing. Again, it might take a little bit of time. It's gonna probably go into recovery. It is, so you'll see, and it says erasing. So, like I said, it's going to erase everything. I'm gonna let it do its thing, and I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so there we go. It's done. That did not take long at all. It says unlocked, and now what we need to do is you can press volume buttons to navigate. Just press volume down once, and you'll see reboot right there. It'll highlight reboot. You can power it down. You can reboot fast boot re or go to H boot. So we are gonna highlight reboot and press the volume, the power button to select. Sorry about that. Power button to select. And there it is. Uh, that would be it. It should reboot. I believe there should be an unlock padlock. I guess not. There's no padlock down there. I assume there would be, but maybe not. It says unlocked in H boot. So your bootloader is now unlocked. 
on your Google Nexus 9. That was easy. So great thing about Nexus devices are, are they are customizable and easy to do that sort of thing. So again, this is gonna boot up, take you to the start screen. And here it is. So like I said, device is wiped, but you're good to go. Your bootloader is unlocked now. You can root your device, all that stuff. I will do videos on how to root it in the description. I will link to it once I make that video. So check that out if you'd like to root it as well. Um, like I said, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it if it helped you out. Uh, you can also subscribe to me. That'd be great. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.